Pathan an event film of sorts since it marks Shah Rukh Khan's return to the big screen after four long years Pathan is an ambitious action thriller that plays to the gallery and lives up to the hype far fetched in writing but high on star power and style Pathan initially seems like a filmy mountain dew commercial which slowly but steadily finds its footing The plot follows India's revocation of Article 370, special status of Jammu and Kashmir, and its impact on a Pakistani officer who wants India to pay for this mistake. He reaches out to the formidable Jim, an ex-raw agent wronged by his own people. He is joined by his ravishing accomplice Rubey and XAC agent Deepika Padukone with ambiguous motives. Pathan, Jim and Rubey lock eyes and horns as they hop continents and indulge in a dangerous game of betrayal and revenge. The three race to destroy and protect the worlds they believe in. Director Siddharth Anand gives an over-the-top treatment to his spy thriller. He presents it more like a superhero film that needs massive suspension of disbelief. His fascination and fanboy worship of mainstream Hollywood blockbusters like Marvel films or Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible series, to name a few, is evident here. Expect falcon-like wingsuit, exaggerated action and chase sequences, death and gravity-defying stunts on cars, bikes, ice and helicopters, immortal heroes and villains mouthing punchy dialogues, a femme fatale and all of this seeped in the idea of patriotism. Action overrides emotions for major part of the film and that's new territory for SRK, who is most loved in romantic or conversational roles. It's interesting how he lets his body do the talking along with those powerfully evocative eyes at 57 as a full-fledged action hero. It is his presence that salvages an average script and subpar VFX. While the background score doesn't quite feel in sync with the scenarios, the film's music by Vishal and Shekhar manages to reflect the heroism and bravado on display. Pathan's highlight is also John Abraham's solid portrayal of Jim. Be it his banal like masked entry or stunt sequences, John is menacing and makes a classic case of the villain overshadowing the hero in portions. The pickup Padukone can kick ass and is perfectly cast as the beautiful, double-crossing, morally ambiguous leggy agent, but her chemistry with SRK feels underdeveloped. It lacks the spark that John SRK's characters share. Dimple Capadia does a tenet once again and lends that much needed gravitas and emotional heft to the proceedings. You wish other characters exuded the sincerity of her part. The YRF spy universe reunites Karan and Arjun wink wink to give you an iconic whistle moment as Bhai meets the Badshah. If you are willing to overlook the frivolity in dialogues like you are pretty screwed, Pathan has all the ingredients of a masala pot boiler, slow-mo entries, iconic battle of good versus bad and most importantly, a sexy smoldering Shah Rukh Khan who can fight the good fight on and off the screen. He's still the undisputed king. Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone starer has finally got what's needed in a spy thriller, non-stop action, glamorous leads, the guy who can save the world, a high octane set piece and an emo line at a time. First things first, Bollywood is back. Shah Rukh Khan is back. Hindi movies have been constructing the desi equivalents of the Bond Bond franchise for a while now. Tiger has been zinda in a pacey double bill. Agent Vinod has done his bit. Bell Bottom has flexed and flared, but it is Pathan which has got the spy movie laced with heavy doses of patriotism bouncing off the screen with Shah Rukh Khan as CING the action avatar, flaunting the floppy hair, glinting aviator's eight packs or is it 12? Look. That's because it has finally cracked the requirements of an action movie, non-stop action, leavened by glamorous leads, topped by the guy who can save the world, a high octane set piece and an emo line at a time. Bonus: the very swell Deepika Padukone matching SRK stride for stride, giving stiff competition to Katrina Kaif who kicked serious ass in Tiger 2. There's also Dimple Kapadia building on her blink and miss role in Christopher Nolan's Tenet as the Foxy Money Penny equivalent. and the chief antagonist played by John Abraham who manages to make the most of his lines the plot involves a slew of spies sardonic raw chiefs ashutosh rana evil isi generals and gun toting terrorists inhabiting global hotspots pakistan is back in kashmir it will never learn will it one of india's own jim john abraham has gone rogue gorgeous isi agent rubina deepika padukone is as at home in a bikini as she is in skin tight spandex A deadly virus much more dangerous than COVID-19 is being cooked up in top secret labs. There's clear and present danger and desh ke dushman crawling all over the landscape. But breathe easy because India's best and bravest Pathan Shah Rukh Khan is at hand.
The problem of carrying off a two and a half hour film is evident in the places where you stifle a yawn. Yes, it can happen even when everything is galloping along at breakneck speed. Just so there's nothing missed out, we have Pathan and Jim facing off in the air. Many helicopters were hurt in the making of this film, skimming over ice floes and under icy water, chasing each other down twisty roads. There's some amount of roll your eye silliness, par for the course for this kind of flick. Plus, the third person mention of Pathan starts getting tiresome kitni bar baloj, yaar. Trust us, we got it the first time. But the slack is gathered up quickly enough, an entire train is commandeered in the service of a special featuring Pathan and a kefir sporting spy whose trademark moves had the audience roaring. And then there is that song which created such a controversy weeks before it hit the theatres. There really is nothing in it that we haven't seen before, why RF songs on beaches should rightfully be a separate Bollywood sub-genre, but there's no denying that Pathan and Rubina swing and narrowing their eyes at each other on a Spanish beach, is more a hot proposition than a potato. But let me reassure those worried, nothing Bishram happens, sadly, even with nothing between them but a gun. The film comes at a time when Bollywood and SRK have been under siege. It's notable how the star doesn't go down the Rahul Raj route which would have been safer in these times. He's out, loud and proud, claiming his roots, as well as his professional identity built up assiduously over a good 30 years. To that end, writers Srida Raghavan and Abbas Tayawala come up with lines in service of both the real and real character, metha, and fun. Pathan is that Satik Jawab of this beleaguered Pathan, who manages multiple feats in his comeback after a clutch of medium bad to terrible films, gives it those ones to the hashtag boycott Bollywood brigade, pulls off the dishy and disheveled look rippling those ABS, give us a laugh out loud moment, I won't ruin it for you, but it involves a line from an early SRK character, also in a YRF film, which would have become eminently meme worthy if memes were a thing those days, and saves Bharat Mata.